Hey there, Sharon Horn Elstrom here. You can call me Pajama Grandma. In case you haven't met yet, go and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So it's the first time you're being exposed to Pajama Grandma. Now, I'm the Pajama Grandma for a deliberate reason. And if you haven't and you're curious about why that is and you haven't heard my story, go ahead and just message me or say, what's the story in the comments below? And I'll be glad to share it with you because everybody doesn't need to hear it all the time. But if you haven't heard it yet, I want to make sure that I introduce myself and we can start a conversation. Today, in our daily scare share of doing one thing a day that stretches our comfort zone from the book that says, do one thing a day that scares you, it is a dreaded blank line day. One of those dreaded blank line days today and tomorrow. Oh, there went my parents. Um, today and tomorrow. But all it's got for a prompt today is it says, my footprints today, and a whole bunch of blank lines. So I got to thinking about footprints, and the first thing that came to mind is that there's this really cool graphic or poster, or um, I've seen it on Facebook as well, where they've got in the sand, you'll see footprints going off into the distance, and you'll see two footprints, two sets of footprints, and then you'll only see one set of footprints. And the saying under it says, you know, <clears throat> I thought that you abandoned me and I had to walk alone, but really the single set of footprints was you carrying me when I needed support and help. Something to that effect, and I believe it's a reference to God. I, I can't remember it exactly, and I'm meat-axing it. Sorry about that. But I think that you've probably seen it, and if you haven't, search it out. Just, just Google footprints, and it will come up because it's that popular. And that's the first thing that came to my mind. And then, of course, that led me to thinking about, and I'm going to curse here, how shit happens. Shit happens in our lives all the time. Bad things happen to us. Bad things happen to people that we know. Bad things happen to people that we don't know and we hear about it through the news or through other people. Um, and it just happens. I mean, bad things happen. Weird things happen. Unbelievable accidents and things happen. Things we could never explain why they happen happen. It's the nature of our, our lives and our universe and the planet and whatever you want to say. It isn't God doing it. I'm going to tell you right now, it isn't God making those things happen. Things happen. Uh, and it's up to us to decide how we're going to react to those things and how we're going to deal with them and what we're going to do moving forward in our lives based on how and what those things are and how we're going to react to it. And I actually believe that our footprints and my tying this into the topic for today is our footprints, our legacy, the example we lead is through the experiences we have and how we demonstrate other, to other people and the world how we react to those experiences, how we respond. A lot of people respond to negative things happening. Say you lose your job. I've lost my job before and I could have had a pity party and sat down and said, this isn't fair. This sucks. This is this is wrong, which, yeah, sometimes it was wrong because <clears throat> I might not have necessarily deserved to lose that. But instead of taking the victim mentality, I just said, okay, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do next? And I set the example for my friends and family that just because something happens that isn't necessarily fair, because guess what? Life is not fair. If, if no one told you that, I thank my father every single day for teaching my sisters and I that life is not fair. And if you expect it to be fair, you're in for a rude awakening. And that it's up to us to decide how we're going to create and how we're going to respond and how what we're going to do next when life throws us a curveball, when life poops on us, because life poops on all of us sometimes during our life. It's the very rare individual that goes through their life with nothing you know, unscathed, with nothing bad that ever happens in their life or around them or to someone they love and care about. I, I don't know a single person that's lived their life that way yet. I hope to be someone that amazing someday. But so far, everyone I know, everyone I've ever met, every person I've ever seen create their own business or create something that they want in their life, some result they want and has had an impact on other people's lives, has had some form of hardship. And how they've dealt with that hardship and how they've moved on through that is an incredibly powerful example to the rest of us. So I say... Have your footprints, the legacy you leave, be the example of how you lived your life, how you've reacted to different situations and different circumstances, because they're not always going to go our way. Because how you react in the downtimes shows the character of the kind of person that you are. 
how you react in the up times shows the kind of person that you are. Guess what? We're always showing the world the exact type person that we are and the exact type human being that we are. Even if we try to disguise it and do things that aren't within our character, our character always shows through. So be an example, not a warning. I like to say that in my my coaching to people. Hey, you can decide how you're going to react to this. Yep, that seems like a raw deal. That was a bad business partner, but are you going to let it destroy you and never do anything again? Or are you going to just say, that was a bad business partner. I will never make that same mistake again and move on. That's it. What and how would you leave footprints today? Go ahead, share in the comments below because this pajama grandma would love to know. And don't be scared. You got this. I will be with you tomorrow with another blank line daily scare share. Bye.